Are you looking for information from a variety of sources? ProQuest Central is a platform covering 160 subject areas, including business, health and medical, social sciences, education, science and technology, and the humanities. To find ProQuest Central, start on the library's homepage and click on A to Z database list. Click on the letter P and ProQuest Central will be listed alphabetically. ProQuest Central can also be accessed under the All Subjects menu under any of the areas covered. Let's take a look at business. And here is ProQuest Central. ProQuest Central has a few different options for searching. There's a basic or advanced search, or a search for specific publications such as journals, a place to browse various types of documents and reports, or a place to select which databases to search. Let's select all. This video will focus on the basic and advanced searches. To begin, choose the document type. All source types provides a menu to choose multiple types of resources or to exclude others. This search will access all types of sources. ProQuest Central also has some helpful hints on this page to make your searching more effective. Let's look for information about the poet Amanda Gorman. ProQuest Central gives some suggestions. Select Gorman Amanda. This is a typical format for names in databases. Just doing a basic search has resulted in over 30,000 results in all types of documents. To narrow the search, go to the left and choose from several different options. The results can be sorted first by relevance or chronology. Other filters or limiters can be applied to further limit the results. Some of these are source type, publication date, or language of the resource. I remember hearing about Ms. Gorman at the inauguration in 2021. I want to know what she has been doing since then. Newspapers might be my best option, but I wonder if she has been mentioned in any blogs or podcasts. Navigate to source types. Click more to select a few different types. Newspapers, blogs, podcasts, and websites, and magazines. Exclude wire feeds and dissertations to help improve your search results. There are still well over 20,000 results. To limit further, search for resources just from the last 12 months. Now, there are still over 500 to look through, but that will still take some time. Let's apply some other limiters to get this down to a more manageable results list. Look under the subject limiter. 45 articles are related to books. That sounds a lot more manageable than 500. The first result captures my interest. Notice that two options are available with this result. To go straight to the full text of the article itself, click on Full Text. To find out more about the article, click on Details. On the Details page, we see that the article is published by the Louisiana Weekly from New Orleans, Louisiana. When looking for specific source types, locations, or other details, this page gives you more information about the origins of the resource. To view the article itself from the details page, simply go to the upper left and select full text. Here is the full text of the article. To have the article for future reference, navigate to the upper right hand corner of the page to see several options. To save the article as a PDF, to find a citation in several different formats, to email a copy of the article, or even to print the article. The All Options button includes all of these choices along with some other useful choices. Have you ever saved a link from the address bar hoping to go back to an article only to get a message saying that your session has expired? That's because the link in the address bar is valid only for that searching session. To be able to go back to the article or to have a link to include in the bibliography, references, or works cited list, use a permanent link or permalink for short. Different interfaces have these links in various places, but in ProQuest Central, the permalink is located at the very top of the All Options pop-up. This link can then be copied and pasted into a document or presentation. 
The permalink is also included on the details page under document URL. The advanced search has more than one search box to combine search terms with Boolean operators, to choose where in the record the search engine will look, and options to pick from various types of sources. Let's find the video clip of Ms. Gorman reading her poem at the inauguration. The search terms selected here are her name and poetry. For more information on how Boolean operators refine searches, see our online tutorial on using Boolean operators. For source type, choose audio and video works, document type, audio and video clip, and for language, English. There are five results. The third result looks like a clip from the inauguration. Hover over the image and click on Quick Look to see some details without leaving the results page. One feature to note is that options in the results list may change depending on the resource. This video clip has the video and a breakdown of relevant sections. This video has an abstract, the video itself, and a transcript. The advanced search has many other features to help searches become more efficient, but the information in this tutorial can help you become familiar with some of ProQuest Central's most useful features. Upcoming tutorials will explore other features of ProQuest Central. If you encounter any problems in your searching or have questions, remember that the staff of the library is always here to help. We can be reached through our chat service, by phone, email, or even in person.